Hey, this is Rob from Producer Tech with our latest feature. In this second movie on Reason's rack extensions, I thought I'd give you a rundown of some of the studio effects you can get hold of, starting off with two of the compressors. I've been a fan of audio damages effects in the past, so I was keen to see what their compressor was like. As you can see, it's got a pretty simple but stylish front panel, with the controls on either side of a circular meter, which shows how much compression is going on. Control-wise, you have a sensitivity control rather than threshold to set how much of the signal is compressed, and then the usual ratio control to set how much compression of that signal is carried out. Then you've got the usual attack and release controls to set how fast the compressor acts and stops acting, with a makeup dial as well to crank up the signal once it's been compressed. So how does it sound? Well, let's have a listen to it on some drums here. I've added it to the signal path after a simple beat I've put together in Kong here. If we turn it on with the default settings now, you'll hear it already gets a fair bit beefier. If I raise the ratio even more now, you'll hear the signal gets even more squashed. but a fair bit of the transient is escaping through uncompressed. So if I make the attack even faster, then the drums will get really flattened. Now let's crank it up with the makeup dial. So that was the compressor working quite hard, but let's push it even harder, as this is the best way to test what a compressor can do. I'm not saying this is how you should use it, but it's a good way of seeing what it's capable of. So what I'll do is bring the ratio up to max, so it's essentially in limiter mode, carrying out brick wall compression. Then I'll bring the release time down as well, so it's even faster acting. Having a really fast release with a heavily compressed beat like this will always create some distortion and signal breakup. But if I bring up the release slowly, we can find the point where the kick sounds clean again and the drums are just really squashed. To give you a comparison to the sound you get with the M-Class compressor, which is not at all bad for a compressor that comes included with music software, here it is set up similarly heavily on the same beat. So you can hear you've got the same distortion going on with the bottom end, only it's struggling a little more. So if I raise the release time now, till the distortion improves, Then we get the sound fattened up a bit, but not with the same chunkiness of Rough Rider. Rough Rider also gives you a lot more makeup gain than the M-Class, so you can really crank it up and you have the option of blending some of the uncompressed signal with the compressed one, creating more of a parallel compression effect. So this can be really handy if wanting to bring some of the natural punchy transients back in, but without increasing the attack time. So Rough Rider is definitely an awesome addition to the Reason Effects library, and nice and affordable too, so I can see why it's popular. Another compressor on offer is the Field Effect Transistor from Softube, which is considerably more expensive, 
so let's see what you're getting for the extra money with that. As far as main compressor controls go, you've got exactly the same as Rough Rider, with ratio, attack, release, makeup gain, and a blend control for compressed and uncompressed. Only here, the threshold is now an input gain control, whereby turning up the input raises more of the signal over the threshold, so more compression occurs. Once again, I'm using the effect with very heavy brick wall settings on our beat, so let's hear how it sounds. You can hear we've got a bit of distortion, but it's coping really well. So I'll bring up the release now. Although it's obviously massively squashed, it's creating a decent sound, with a nice bottom end, but particularly good top end, which is coming through very clearly. If I compare it to the Rough Rider, you'll hear the difference, with the top end being not so pristine with that but with the soft tube being fat at the bottom end and also nice and bright, so it's high quality across the entire spectrum. So although Rough Rider is great for the money, the extra bucks do get you an even better sound with the soft tube. And there are some other useful features too, like filters on the detector, which mean you can filter off certain frequencies in the signal triggering the compressor, in order to stop them from dominating the compression. And there's a sidechain input on the back, so you can connect an external signal to route into the detector, making that trigger the compressor instead of the signal being processed. Here I've got the compressor processing a baseline being made by the Korg Poly6 synth we looked at in the last feature but the drums are being fed into the compressor sidechain input, so that we get the classic pumping effect on the bass. And I've also added a couple of the other soft tube effects you may want to check out, namely the soft saturation dial for adding some nice warmth and gentle distortion, and then the Trident EQ module for shaping the bass. 